What if flying at supersonic speeds would turn into a daily reality? What if your daily commute could take you coast to coast in the time it takes to watch a movie? This bold vision is on the verge of realization thanks to an ambitious collaboration between NASA and Lockheed Martin. Over the past six years, these two giants have been tirelessly working on the X-59 Quest, an experimental aircraft designed to redefine the rules of air travel. This innovative plane promises to transform our understanding of supersonic flight and revolutionize the way we travel the skies. Now, supersonic travel isn't a new concept. In the past, the dream of drastically reducing flight times led to the creation of iconic aircraft like the Concorde and the Tupolev Tu-144. These jets represented major advancements in aviation technology, but they also highlighted significant challenges that needed to be addressed. The Concorde, developed jointly by Britain and France, first took to the skies in 1969. It could make the trip from New York to London in about three and a half hours, which was revolutionary at the time. Its delta wing design and powerful engines allowed it to cruise at Mach 2, twice the speed of sound. However, the Concorde faced numerous limitations. Its high operational costs, noise pollution, and restricted flight routes due to sonic booms limited its commercial success. Similarly, the Soviet Union's Tupolev Tu-144, also known as the Konkordsky, encountered similar hurdles and managed only a few commercial flights before being retired. The sonic boom was a major issue. When an aircraft travels faster than the speed of sound, the compressed air molecules against the body of the plane produce shock waves that merge to form a sonic boom a loud and disruptive noise heard on the ground. This sound could be heard for miles, often startling those on the ground, and it was even capable of causing structural damage to buildings. The problem became so severe that the U.S. banned civilian supersonic flight over land in 1971. Just a quick moment before we unveil the rest. If you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel. Stay up to date and never miss out on the latest insights. This ban shelved the development of the transportation industry for many years, until 2016, when NASA awarded a preliminary design contract to Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works, a division renowned for its advanced aerospace projects. The objective was to create an aircraft with a noise level of just 75 perceived loudness decibels, or PLDB, a unit that reflects how humans experience sound, rather than the raw decibel level of the sonic boom. This noise level is comparable to the sound of closing a car door. In contrast, the Concorde's noise level was 105 PLDB, similar to the roar of a thunderclap heard up close. In April 2018, NASA awarded Lockheed Martin a $247.5 million contract to build the aircraft. This funding was pivotal in transitioning the project from the conceptual phase to tangible development. Shortly after, the U.S. Air Force gave the aircraft its official designation as the X-59 in a program called Quiet Supersonic Technology, or Quest. By November 2018, Lockheed Martin had begun machining the first parts of the experimental jet at their facility in Palmdale, California. This marked the beginning of the physical construction of the aircraft, with major structural components assembled by mid-2019. A crucial phase in the development involved preliminary sonic boom tests, which were conducted using an F-A-18 Hornet. This fighter jet was flown from 50,000 feet to create sonic booms over test areas like Texas, simulating the conditions that the new aircraft would encounter. These tests were essential for gathering data on public perception of the sonic booms and validating the design goals of reducing noise levels. The next few years saw continuous progress in the construction and testing of the supersonic plane. Finally, in January 2024, at Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works facility in Palmdale, the prototype's rollout took place. This is a major accomplishment made possible only through the hard work and ingenuity from NASA and the entire X-59 team, said NASA Deputy Administrator Pam Melroy. In just a few short years, we've gone from an ambitious concept to reality. NASA's X-59 will help change the way we travel, bringing us closer together in much less time. We're in the final stages of preparation before it can finally take to the skies. However, we're confident that this aircraft will live up to the promises made by Lockheed Martin and NASA. With that anticipation in mind, let's now look at what this revolutionary plane is designed to achieve. The aircraft measures 99.7 feet in length, with over a third of this length dedicated to its distinctive elongated nose. This design helps to manage shockwaves during flight preventing them from merging into a loud sonic boom and instead producing a much quieter sonic thump. 
The plane features a very narrow profile, with a wingspan of just 29.5 feet, which is less than a third of its total length. It is powered by a single General Electric F414 GE100 engine, situated towards the rear of the aircraft, capable of producing 22,000 pounds force of thrust. This engine setup is crucial for the plane's performance, allowing it to achieve its intended speeds while maintaining the noise reduction goals. In terms of performance, it is designed to have a maximum speed of 990 miles per hour, or 1.5 times the speed of sound, with a cruising speed slightly lower at 940 miles per hour, or Mach 1.2. It is expected to operate comfortably at altitudes of 55,000 feet. A key feature is the Enhanced Flight Vision System, or EVS. Unlike traditional aircraft, the X-59 does not have a forward-facing cockpit window due to its long nose. Instead, the EVS provides the pilot with a clear view ahead using advanced cameras and display technology. This system includes a forward-facing camera, a cockpit-mounted display screen, and sophisticated image processing software, creating an augmented reality view that enables safe navigation without a conventional windscreen. Now, with the rollout complete, the Quest team is focusing on preparations for the maiden flight, planned for later in 2024. Initial flight tests will be carried out at Skunk Works, after which the aircraft will be transferred to NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center in Edwards, California. This center will serve as the primary base for further testing and operations. The X-59 will then be flown over various residential communities across the United States, selected for their diverse geographic and atmospheric conditions. NASA will work closely with these communities to evaluate their responses to the aircraft's noise levels, specifically aiming to verify that the quieter 75 PLDB sonic thump is acceptable. The collected data will be submitted to the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration and international regulatory bodies. NASA hopes that demonstrating the reduced noise impact will pave the way for regulatory changes, allowing a new generation of supersonic aircraft to operate over land routes that are currently restricted. This could significantly reduce flight times on routes such as New York to Los Angeles. By proving that supersonic flight can be both fast and environmentally considerate, NASA and Lockheed Martin are paving the way for a new era where crossing continents in a matter of hours could become a reality. The success of the X-59 will not only transform travel, but also set new standards for innovation and sustainability in the aerospace industry.